hi guys i'm about to make a bit of a controversial statement but forgive me because uh someone needs to say this truth <laughs> and parents you might be a bit mad at me but um the era that you used to live in and the era that we live in is no longer the same guys let nobody deceive you right there used to be a time where if you're not going to school to become a lawyer, doctor, engineer, you, you're a useless person in the eyes of everybody. Gone are those days. Now, that is not to say that these areas I mentioned are still not, you know, you know held in high esteem and there is no uh, destiny and potential and power there. Without these areas, we probably wouldn't even be some of us won't be where we are because we still need our doctors, we still need our engineers. But when it comes to wealth creation, it is no longer what it used to be. You hear this if you're about to enter school. Even if you've done your first degree, it's never too late. Never go to school again because of a course they put upon you, or because of a program. I wanted to do this and they gave me this. Don't ever do that. If you have passion for carpentry, are you rather go to a carpentry school than to go and spend five or six years in a school and come out and you the degree you have is useless to you you can't use it for anything i know a lot of engineering students in this country that came out of school because there is no enough facility there is nothing that they use to properly teach them they are they are not useful in the engineering sphere now you don't just only need a degree you need a master's and sometimes they require a master's from outside of the country and not just that they require experience instead of putting all this time eight nine years to get the experience to just get a job that will be paid for how much you would rather take just four or three years of that time and that particular thing you're passionate about listen let me say something i don't want you to forget when god created each and every one of us there are gifts and talents that he put in us and while growing up, we begin to see these gifts and talents. But what happens on the long run is that because of the environment and the society we live in, it limits and kills our dreams. And now you go from wanting to be an astronaut or wanting to be uh, a superstar to just settling for anything that the society can offer. But you need to learn how to get back to that your dream. Parent, if your child says they want to go to, they want to become a footballer or they want to be a fashion designer, what you owe them or the advice you can give to them is to make sure that they get a certain level of education because what you don't want to be is a fashion designer that is an illiterate or a footballer that doesn't know how to speak english you have to learn to balance it gone are those days where you have to say is it that you are this or you get out of my house i used to have a friend all his life he wanted to be a graphic designer be in the it world his father was a lawyer his uh, grandfather, he was running the blood. The father said, not in this house. You must be a lawyer. The guy went to school. He became a lawyer. He came back and he handed his father his law certificate and said, this is what you wanted. He gave it to him and went ahead to do his IT thing. That guy is one of the most successful IT people I know in the, in the IT sphere now. Utilize your time. One will say, but I don't have money to go and get training for what I'm passionate about. It is on YouTube. Listen, we are living in the most privileged era. There used to be a time before you access information just to get a book. You have to go to the library, register one book at a time. Now, every single thing you need is at the tip of your finger. Go to YouTube, go to TikTok. Informations are flying everywhere. You have no reason to be broke. You have no reason to say you don't know what to do with your life. And some of you come and say, oh, yes, Mark Zuckerberg dropped out. That is why I want to drop that. No, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg did not drop out and became a lead treat. The school system, and that is also another thing I will say probably in another video, the difference between schooling and education. The school system he was in was restricting him from the ideas. He, he wasn't functioning from where these guys were for. The school couldn't offer him anything that he needed. So even though he left school, the system, it, he didn't stop learning. Because some of us will finish school and say, oh yes, I've gone to school. And you notice that you because information, the, 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 the everyday new things come out. So you need to, just like iPhone, you need to update. If not, you will be, 
you you will be uninstalled you won't be useful to the society so this is me saying to you pursue that dream you have don't go and waste time going to school for something you know you will never use thankfully the course i studied was good history and international relations but up until today they just brought my certificates back to the house and i graduated what 11 12 years ago had i taken that a4 certificate say if i don't use this to get a job so this leads me to say this which is the next video i'm going to make as long as there are problems problems everywhere around nigeria you have no reason to be unemployed have a beautiful evening that is a discussion for another day bye